Hello, this is Christopher Owasanya, President of AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos, Nigeria. And today we are doing part two of our battery desulfator. So if you recall, we showed you um, six batteries we picked up from a customer that are badly desulfated. We are badly sulfated. Um, when you checked the voltage of the batteries, with a multimeter it indicated that the batteries were full. You were seeing 13 volts, 12 and a half volts, 13 volts. And then when we hooked it up to a load, it crashed. Um, it crashed the load. So example, we hooked it up to an inverter here. And as long as there was no load on it, it was showing that we had 26 volts. The minute we turned the refrigerator on, it dropped to 17 volts. So that shows you a battery that's badly sulfated. Now, are there people who badly sulfated? Sorry, there are people who believe that battery desulfators work. I'm, I've had, I've uh, run it on one battery which worked, which worked, and now I'm running it on another set of battery in the eastern part of Nigeria. I'm also running it on this battery in Lagos. Initially. I had it um, attached to multiple batteries, but I wasn't having much success, so now we're doing it with individual batteries. When we started running this test, the battery was over 12 and a half volts. And that's what the desulfator, that's what the desulfator said it was. 12. This is our desulfator. He said it was at 12 and a half volts, and that was 8.05 p.m. yesterday. Now, when I tested with the multimeter, it showed that the battery was at 12.8, 12.9 volts. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what, the, what number the desulfator is um, actually telling us that the battery is and then we're going to hook a multimeter to it and you're going to see the magic that this device performs. Actually it blows your mind. So here we go. So right now, uh, the desulfator says our battery is at 11.6 volts. Actually said at 12.1 volts, it's at 11.6 volts. And I'm going to turn on my multimeter I um, attach the lead to the positive and negative plates and then watch what happens as this thing does its trick, okay? So, this is an auto-ranging um, DC, well, auto-ranging AC-DC multimeter and we have it set to DC, which is the right current, which is what you get from your batteries. So here is our positive and here is our negative lead. So watch this, okay? Anna, please focus on that for me. Focus on me. Okay. Come closer. Do you see it? Can you read numbers? Yes. Okay. So right now I'm going to connect our positive and negative lead. And please pay attention. It's auto ranging, so the numbers will vary until you look it on. So if I attach it to our negative, and now we attach it to our positive. And look at how much numbers change as the desulfate. As you see, it's pulsing right at red. It's doing the job. So you see how much numbers change by. You go from as little as. 10.7 volts to as high as 12.46. So now it's not doing anything. And what? Once the red light starts to blink, it's discharging the battery. It's pretty. I think it's amazing when you see this happen. So at rest, when it's not doing anything, the battery is at 12 and it has volts. And then once it starts pulsing, it brings it all the way down to 10.7 volts. So during the desulfation process, it actually discharges the battery. So does this work? I, we don't know yet, on, particularly on this batch, these are AGMs. So we're going to run this for a few weeks, or a few days, and I will let you know if somehow we found the magic elixir um, on how to bring bad batteries back to life. So again, this is Christopher Masanya with AWPS Renewable Energy, and today we are trying to see if battery desulfators are the magic bullet that people say they are. So, see you next time. Well, I'll bring part three of the video to you. Thank you.